All right, as you took the break, I just added a few little green leaves in a few spots. Again, none of them are exact. I even threw in a little bit of a red shape and an orange shape showing that there is a red rose and an orange rose further behind in this clump because I will highlight some of the greens in front of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to this flower has got about two or three values. I need some more values on that flower. So on the orange I'm going to use in the dark area. I'll start mixing up pure, no more of the linseed oil or the cleaner. I'm going to take an orange right now that's pure and a little darker. I'm going to find all the areas that I think I can put that value in. So I'm looking for areas, chunk areas. So orange and I'm even going to take a touch of the burnt sienna and a touch of crimson red and watch this as I go in here. I'm going to go even darker right there in that spot on that part right there and then right in this part right in here the same thing get a little bit of the same colors red burnt sienna and orange so whenever I get into the dark areas of the color that goes in down here where it's going to meet the greens on this side I want strength so I go in here fade it a bit there that starts giving that flower a little bit more shape. The, the faded, the bottom end comes right through here. As you see, there's a value now that's right in here, forming into this shadow. In this part back here, I'm going to use this 